Hello and welcome to the second of the series of Two Point Perspective Simple Building Structures, in this case a double pitched roof. There's a target drawing with a 2D view uh, next to the 3D object. We're going to start off with a very straightforward uh, Two Point Perspective crate or box that's starting with the leading edge, the vertical line that's nearest the viewer, and projecting to vanishing points in the distance. So the vanishing points will be off the page, so lines sloping towards each other slightly, converging, and we've got the height of the building. We've got the depth left to right, and we've got the distance to the right-hand side going in a minute or two. But we're going to try and do a little 2D view next to there, just to get an idea of how we can divide the square end, it is a square end idea, of uh, into a building using two diagonal lines, and eventually a horizontal and a vertical line, just to divide that end point up. But we've got our basic box, we've got length, height and breadth. We're now going to try and superimpose the idea of the house onto the... 2D and 3D objects. So there's a diagonal line, so there's a line from corner to corner, Now that'll give us the centre of that particular shape. Remember this is freehand, so you can try it with a ruler or straight edge if you want, but it's freehand in this case. Then we're going to try and identify the, the horizontal line through the middle uh, on the 2D and the 3D view. Now that goes roughly halfway up both the lines, but it's, if you like there's a bigger half and a smaller half from front to back. Then we've got our slopes, that's two diagonal lines in there, so we pop a vertical line into the end view, and we put the slopes, the second diagonals, from corner to corner in these new squares to give us our slope, um, first the front edge and the back edge of that roof gable end, if you like, the end of the property itself. Just going to firm in on the 2D view once I get my pen sorted out, um, line for line, so you can see which bit on the 2D represents which bit on the 3D. I've done this very slowly just to build it up. And realistically, the basic house shape, if that's as far as we get today, that's fine. You don't have to put the detail in. So we're just firming in the end view, the gable end, for that house on the left-hand side, the end elevation, the 2D view that's down below. Now we need to project the important bits through into 3D. That's the ridge, the top, the pointy bit on the top of the building towards the vanishing point on the right. And where the gutter would be, the bottom of the roof, to the vanishing point, also on the right. And you can see I've added a couple of little arrows there to give me a, a reminder that these lines are all heading towards the same point, somewhere off the page. Now, where those lines go outside the cuboid, those will be our points for the end of the ridge and the end of the gutter. I've circled them there, put a light line in, and there you can see, just firming in what the side view, the, the wall would look like, and then the ridge and the back edge of that roof. There's our basic property. If that's as far as we get today, we can do lots of practice on those and get those something you can do with a little bit more confidence after a little bit more practice. If you feel confident doing that, then we can add a little bit of detail to this. And the detail we're going to add are things like doors and windows. So the, the classic house shape or form, 2D in one view here, 3D in the other view on the left hand side. Remember the vanishing points off the page in this case. So we're going to try and now put a door on the end. And the door is going to have a width and a height. The height will be lower than the gutter. Explain a little bit why in that later on. Um, so we're building up some uh, lines towards vanishing points. We're going to put a couple of long, thin, narrow windows on that end view. On the end view. You can see it in the 2D view. We're firming them in. And we're going to do the same thing on the 3D view. So that the lines that are horizontal in 2D go to the vanishing point, in this case on the left-hand side, in the 3D view. We're going to do the same, or something very similar, on the right-hand side. Now we can't see that at all in the 2D view. So a little bit of license here to put in windows of different heights, or doors, or number of windows, number of doors. But the same idea is the same, it goes along. We need the if you like, the height of the door, the height of the window to be projected along this side. We've carried those along from the front edge towards the right-hand vanishing point. If I then put in some vertical lines, you can see there we've got the tops of doors and our windows. It depends. Basically, a door is a window that goes down to the ground. So we're just firming in some of the lines, the shadow lines, to see where those would be. And we've nothing to show in the 2D view because we can't see this at all. So all the information is in this 3D view. And that's why 3D views give you a quicker understanding of what an object looks like. But it does take a little bit more skill to put the drawing together. So I've lightened off the construction lines. I'm just firming in, first of all, those tops of windows, bottoms of windows, all going towards the vanishing point. 
Then I can put the vertical lines in. There is a tendency when you do this for vertical lines to drop a little bit or to go slightly squint. So literally keep an eye on that when you're firming these in. And again, that's enough. That could be enough for today. We've got an object. But now we're going to try and put some, some more detail and we're going to try and take those windows that could be thought of as stickers or posters on the wall and project lines back to the other vanishing point to give us an idea of depth or thickness, how far in the windows are, and doors are recessed. And we projected lines towards the right-hand vanishing point on the left-hand wall and the left-hand vanishing point on the right-hand wall. Some vertical lines to go in there help build up the idea of the object itself. Firming those in, again the lighter construction lines making it a little bit, to, it will make it a lot easier to, to find and then we can firm things in and the thing that stands out at the end of the day should be, now, should be the firm lines. You might see some lines are firmed in a bit early like the doorway there that could maybe do with a gap because um, it's basically an opening to get through that so I've just lightened that line off and if I wanted I could add a little bit of shade. I'm doing this digitally on, on an iPad, same thing can be done with a pencil with a little bit of masking um, to, to cover areas up. We're just going to add a little bit of darkness for the inside space, that volume inside the object. Okay, so we started quite some time ago, this is about a six and a half minute video. Um, you can stop at any stage, build up the confidence, first the outside form of the house with the sloping roof, then you might want to add some details just on the surface of the, the doors and windows. You may want to make the windows go in the way and later on you could add a bit of shading. Lots to do in this one. Again, it is practice, it's building confidence and the idea of vanishing points off the page on this are the things that make it look a little bit more realistic. Have a go.